Hey guys, it's Faye from Face World. In this video, I'm gonna talk about something that I've never talked about once before on this channel. It's about heat pumps. You may be wondering, Faye, aren't you the Zoom virtual event YouTube strategy person? I am, and you'll be seeing more video content related to that. But I have recently had the privilege to install two heat pumps for my home. So I live in a two-story home. As some of you guys know, this is basically where I work. 24 seven. Not only that, my entire family are entrepreneurs. So we all work from home. So in this video, I really want to share with you what I have learned throughout the journey, including what the heat pumps look like now outside. But also I want to show you the basement of what the units look like. I'll talk about the fact that we're using what's called a dual energy. We have our heat pumps to supply air conditioning during the summer, which is right now today is over 90 degrees here in Grafton, Massachusetts. But also during the winter time, heat pumps will provide you with heat. In fact, they can actually heat up this entire house. On top of that, I want to address to those of you who are lucky enough to live in Massachusetts. So as part of uh, Mass Safe, you will get up to $10,000 in rebate for installing heat pumps. You do have to meet certain requirements and you get a percentage of that money depending on how much uh, the heat pumps are heating up your house. I also want to turn this video into a short series because it's going to be super long if I talk about my experience with heat pumps, what they look like. We also talk about Ecobee, which is thermostat that we had to use to replace the old. We had the Google Nest systems, which we liked, but it would be problematic with heat pumps. I don't know why we had to use Ecobee and so far I like it. Also in this video, since we're brand new to uh, our newly installed heat pumps as of the beginning of July, as I'm recording this, we're only about like second, third week into using the heat pumps to supply air conditioning. So far, I love it. Let me know in the comments below if you wanna take a look at my bill and see how efficient heat pumps really are compared to uh, my previous just regular air conditioning I had. So before we take a look at the heat pump, that's my incredible backyard. I am so grateful. So look guys, this is my brand new heat pumps. There are two of them and they are from Bosch. By the way, you'll no longer need to cover them up. Uh, these are heat pumps, so they work year round. The unit on the right is bigger because it's a four ton system and this is a three ton on the left. I actually wanna get up close so you can hear the sound, right? And it's still relatively quiet when it's running. All right, let's go down to the basement to take a look at at least one unit of the inside installation. All right, so this is a lot of people, as I was walking around the neighborhood, people yeah. didn't know what heat pumps are. It's just like your typical air conditioner, except on the outdoor unit is what we call a reversing valve. And as an air conditioner, you know, you have cool air going into your room and then the hot air leaving through the mm -hmm. back side of the air conditioner mm -hmm. essentially reverses that role. So now it's going to pull any cool air to the outdoors and then leave you with, and produce warm air. Yeah, very cool. So all, yeah, all it really is is just there's a reversing valve in there and reverses the operation of which an air conditioner works. James, do you want to describe what these components are? Because I literally thought changing the AC was about changing the condensers outside. Oh, yeah. You, <laughs> you can do that if you're keeping the indoor, but... No, yeah. so you've got your five inch pleated mm -hmm. Merve high efficiency filter. Wow. Those are good for about six to nine months. Um, yeah. This is the air handler. So down here is the evaporator coil. Refrigerant comes from the condenser in through here. Yeah. You got your fan motor in here, blowing all the cold, cool air or hot if you're in the heating season mm -hmm. up through here. This is the hydronic coil. So this is your auxiliary heat. So heat pumps do lose efficiency when it starts, when the temperature starts getting below freezing. Yeah. Um, Bosch is good because you still have 100% capacity to about 13 degrees outside temperature. You definitely want to back up. So since you have your boiler here and you had an existing hydronic system, <laughs> we just put this external um, hydronic heating coil which is tied into your boiler mm -hmm. and when it needs to turn it on it will automatically but there's also a function on your thermostat did you show her the auxiliary i have not yet. okay so there's a option auxiliary which mm -hmm. will run this 100 percent of the time 24 7 until you make an adjustment 
Wow. So the question is, what triggered me to look into this? So the original ACs that came with the house, as of the beginning of July, before the heat pump installation, was 18 years old. It still worked, and I was really hesitating to replace them. And whenever we had HVAC contractors stop by, and their opinion is, wow, it really probably won't last another three years, it's kind of questionable for the next one to two years. And please know that, that when you have a broken AC, you know, it doesn't take one day to have it replaced. In fact, you want to kind of stay a little bit ahead of the game. I'm not a professional here, but I certainly don't want to find myself in a situation where I won't be able to evaluate multiple bids. You know, I have to order something really quickly. Maybe there will be an upcharge, not to mention all the stress that comes with it. The second reason is the fact that ugh, oil price is really high right now. And last April, the last time that I filled up the entire oil tank, yes, this house uh, is primarily fueled on oil, I saw a bill close to $1,600. There's a third reason that I want to talk about, which is The Carbon Almanac. It's a book, now it's a community, that's led by Seth Godin, one of my favorite entrepreneurs of all time. With that said, it's an incredible community. I highly recommend that you check it out. So I'm going to include an invite link for you guys in the description of this video. Once you join the community, there is so much you can learn about how to save energy for your home, something that you can benefit right away. Yes, you're helping with the environment and you're helping with your family and your bill. Next, I want to talk about a tip, which is what you want to know as a consumer. I want to encourage myself to look into this. Frankly, I've never been an expert or someone who is extremely interested in heat pumps. It's been a new concept and unless you know someone who's actually going through the process right now, it's really hard to get feedback. Look, even with the $10,000 rebate, if you get up to $10,000, you're still looking at a bill uh, anywhere between twenty dollars to $30,000 if you're also living in a two-story home. I know it sounds expensive, which is one of the downside of having heat pumps. I did the math. I think it's still very encouraging knowing that I will be more or less independent from my oil source. Um, heat pumps take longer to install. As a consumer, learn what you can. Don't be paralyzed by the information. Instead, try to get multiple bits. I know I didn't want to do that either. I didn't want to invite four or five groups of people into my home. They're usually here super early, which means I have to wake up early, but I'm telling you it's worth it. Once I get multiple bids, in my case, I got about four or five. It just gave me insights into what I'm dealing with, I'm looking at. Not gonna lie, those estimates are not the easiest thing to look at or to understand, so you can ask questions. On top of that, there's another tip, which is my friend Chris Michelle uh, is an expert and has been working in HVAC for 20 years. His feedback was completely unbiased and he was so patient with me for an hour on the call. If you find this video interesting, please do share it with a friend. I think it's so exciting. So instead of comparing July to June to May, it really makes sense to compare my July bills this year with last year's bill, because why not, right? Um, please also know that has a lot to do with the weather, you know, depending on how hot it was in July 2021 versus right now, you know, July 2022. If you're now watching all the way till the end, I do want to mention that I am installing solar panels and the project will probably kick off right around September this year in 2022. I look forward to the drone shots. I look forward to the installation process to be able to monitor energy on my phone. I'm thinking about getting an electric vehicle as well. So I'm really kind of eliminating the oil usage or gas usage as much as possible. There's going to be a lot of fun stuff uh, coming for us at Face World Media. I want to share this information using plain English language as a creator. So I hope you enjoy this and I'll see you in the next one.